Hello friends, hello and welcome to EDG Guru channel. This video is about language translator part 2 in which we will discuss about the difference between compiler and interpreter. In language translator part 1 video, we have discussed about uh, the basics of language translators. If you have not watched that video, so I will provide the link in the description. You can watch that out. So let's begin with today's session on language translator part 2. And let's understand the difference between compiler and interpreter. So let's get started. Subscribe to EDG Guru channel and hit the bell icon for every new video and updates in EDG Guru channel. So this figure illustrates the difference between compiler and interpreters. The compiler and interpreters both are the types of language translators used for converting the high level language program into machine code or machine language or byte code so the computer will Computer can understand the set of instructions inside the program uh, and can execute those set of instructions and can produce the output because computer don't understand the high level language. So the com compilers and interpreters are to be used for converting that high level language into the uh, form which computer can understand and can execute those set of instructions and can produce the output. But there is also the difference between compiler and interpreters. So, uh, let's understand what exactly is the difference between compiler and interpreters. So, uh, I have listed down the difference between compiler and interpreter in this diagram. Let's go one by one. The first point says that the compiler scans the whole program and translate it into the machine code whereas the interpreter scans the program line by line and translate it into the byte code so what the basically the compiler does is compiler scans the whole program at once and translate that program into machine code the program is not just made up of a single line okay Com the program contain the multiple lines program is not contain not just contain a single line of code it contain the multiple lines it uh, program is a collection of like variables constant then uh, expressions statements expressions functions and uh, many other stuffs, right? So the program basically contain the multiple lines of code. So program is a piece of code which contain the multiple lines. So what basically the compiler does is compiler scans a whole piece of code at one time at at once and translate that whole piece of code into machine code, right? Whereas what the interpreter does is interpreter will not not scan the whole piece of code at once and translate it into the byte code. Whereas what the interpreter does is then interpreter goes line by line. It first scans the first line of code, then it goes to next line. First uh, interpreter first scans the first line of code, translate it into the byte code, then it goes to a next line translate it into the byte code like that right this happens in, in case of interpreter what the next point uh, says that in case of compiler shows all the error at the same time whereas the interpreter shows the error of executed line one error at a time and what the third point says that error checks in case of compiler, the error checks after scanning the whole program. Whereas in case of interpreter, the error checks happens after scanning the each line. So what happened exactly? What these two point says that, right? So 
in case of compiler what it does is it scans the whole piece of program whole program at once right once the whole program has been scanned it translates it into the machine code after translation it execute the whole code during execution it checks for for all the errors in a program and it shows all those error only after execution of whole program whereas in case of interpreter interpreter shows the error of executed line what basically the interpreter does is that the interpreter scans one line at a time translate it into the byte code after translation it execute that line during execution it checks for the error whether the error is present in that line if the error is present in that line it shows the shows that error on, uh, immediately after execution of that line if the error is not present in that line it execute that line successfully and then move to the next line and so on in case of compiler the error checking happens only after scanning the whole program the compiler scan a whole programs and the error checking is happens only after uh, scanning the whole program it is not like that it scans a one line and uh, uh, error checking will be done on that line it's not like that in case of compiler whereas in case of interpreter the error checking after scanning each line what the interpreter does is that interpreter scan one line at a time checks uh, convert it into the byte code uh, after conversion it uh, execute that line and during execution it checks for the error uh, whether the error is present in that particular line if the error is present in that particular line it shows that error immediately after execution of that line i hope these two points are clear to you right so what the next point says that the debugging debugging is slow in case of compiler whereas the debugging is faster in case of interpreter why so what is meant by debugging the debugging is nothing but the process of finding out the bugs and fixing that bugs resolving that bugs so bugs means error so debugging is a process to finding out the errors and fixing it right so in case of compiler the debugging is slow why slow because uh, it shows all the error at the same time it checks for the error error checks happen after scanning a whole program and whole program even though there is an error into the multiple lines it shows all those errors uh, at the end of this process so we are getting all the errors only after execution of whole program so we need more time for fixing all those mo uh, more errors which we get um, at the end of this process right but what happen in case of interpreter is like uh, since it uh, shows the error after scanning and checking of that particular line it shows the error if there is any right so we are getting the errors in early phase of this process and that's why the debugging is faster in case of interpreter then next is the execution time is less in case of compiler whereas the execution time is uh, more in case of uh, interpreter so why so because in case of compiler it scans the program only once right and translate it into the machine code means it requires only one scanning it scans the whole program right it it uh, don't go line by line it don't require a multiple scanning of the uh, lines right it only requires a single scan in which it scans a whole piece of code whereas what happen in case of interpreter it requires a multiple scanning and since the compiler require only one scan its execution time is less whereas the interpreter requires a multiple scanning multiple scanning why it is required because it scans a multiple uh, one uh, it requires a multiple scanning because it goes line by line right 
and that's why the execution time is time of interpreter is more since it requires a multiple scanning languages like c c++ uses compiler whereas the languages like java python uses interpreter in this way we have seen here the difference between compiler and interpreter i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to edu guru channel and hit the bell icon thank you thank you for watching